All right, Red Raiders head to Arizona, Arizona State, and UNLV. We'll take questions for Ted. Coach, I know it's already scheduled and whatnot, but uh, what were your initial thoughts when you saw your wrap up? Yeah, we were okay with it. I mean, obviously, we got the Big 12 schedule and presented a bye weekend and this weekend. And, uh, you know, we dug around and looked around the country to find some games between Arizona State and UNLV. I think they were playing in Tempe. They let us jump in there and play a few games. That way, we don't have a full week off. Do you handle this weekend a little bit different? I mean, you try to experiment and see. Yeah, yeah, obviously, um, probably, probably shuffle the deck a little bit, kind of work with you know, the results we've been getting. And, um, with pitching, we probably won't extend anybody to the extent where they couldn't come back on Tuesday or Wednesday. How much do you change the uh, rotation up? I mean, are you going to have different guys pitching and try to try well, to have about three? It, and yeah, it's changing itself, first of all. With Mac going down last weekend, Two weeks ago, it's kind of changed itself. Um, Easter weekend, uh, I believe at UCF, it changed uh, because of travel. Uh, and then I think we had another weekend with BYU where you play a day early. So there's there's things that happen naturally within that have happened with our schedules changed. And um, this weekend, though, we're going to try to get everybody some work. Uh, was really just the outlook we're going to need everybody going into next week. Obviously, Arizona State joined the conference next year. I guess early thoughts on being able to face them here early on? Yeah, I mean, really excited about the opportunity to go out there. I haven't seen their new stadium. Uh, I was in their old stadium a number of times, and uh, I don't think it'll hurt us anything. You know, uh, we do go there next year, and so give the guys an opportunity to see the place, which, which could be good. Considering your plan Thursday, Friday versus Friday, Saturday, Sunday, how much do you uh, plan to start pitching wise? Yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to staff each game. And so Kyle won't start, I wouldn't think. Um, if he does, it, it might be a really short start. Um, probably going to bring three out of the bullpen. And so you got a bunch of bullpen guys to pick from. He's going to start. We, we kind of talked about Parker and Tara starting on him. It's most likely going to be him. If Kyle was to say, Don, if Kyle was to say he's not sore tomorrow, we could just start him at a 13. You really don't have that information to have it there. It's so early in the week for him based on him. We started on Saturday. You know, here we are on Tuesday. You know, and generally, you know, your Saturday starter goes your side on Wednesday. So we'll wait to see how it feels. So but it's not going to be an extended start. So what more have you uh, found out about him all about for how long has he died for? Um, really, uh, he played catch, but he hadn't really gone. We talked to him this morning, hadn't really tried to throw the ball hard yet. Um, that's what you're hoping. Hoping to build a short stance next week. How much has, uh, I mean, Bravo, think so much of the season was top of the charts, Big 12 and nearly everything. How much has it been set back by that? And how much? And how has that affected you all just line up wise? I don't think we'll really know until we know, but he's definitely a guy going into league all the way back to in March when going into the first weekend and the second weekend. He's a guy you're writing in the two hole every day. And then all of a sudden each weekend you're taking him out of the you know, out of the lineup. And so now you're moving guys in and out and you would like to hope that guys are ready to step in. And contribute and impact the day and uh, win the game. Uh, but at the same time, you are talking about a guy that's swinging the bat at a pretty good clip. Uh, 
I, mean, I, I think they showed him on the school board hit 398 the other day in uh, Stillwater. You know, they had the Big 12 leaders. He's still the Big 12 leader in batting average, but he's been in and out of lineup since Waco. And so, um, you know, you, to me, you, you almost be better off just giving him a month, you know, in hindsight now. You know, I say, hey, take a month and get better. Uh, but we really haven't been able to identify exactly what it is other than hurt. I guess what's the urgency going to be like in Arlington given your RPI and NCAA kind of regional replacement? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be all hands on deck each day. There won't be any, hey, here's who's starting on Tuesday, here's who's starting on Wednesday, here's who's going on Thursday. It'll be when, when day one and then go from there, uh, which can be a lot of fun. I mean, really, uh, I think we've gone through seasons here where we've done that, you know, daily. And, uh, yeah, I think back in 14, you know, really you're talking about Chris Sadbury was the one guy you had where you go, hey, this guy's, this guy's going six innings. And so it'll be all hands on deck. And obviously uh, position player wise, you're trying to find as many key pieces to step in there and be in there every day, which is kind of what Don's asking. You know, I, I think we've had some of that, um, you know, a little bit early on with Bazell with, you know, the thing he went through. And, uh, Max, he had the deal he went through. And I would say, though, the guy he asked about, you know, Bravo and Green, really, those two guys, are, it, it's been interesting because you can be, they could be playing good. I mean, I think in, in Orlando, I think Bravo got five hits. When they, and I think he wasn't in the lineup. So that's an, that's an interesting deal. But sense of urgency, uh, we've already addressed, hey, you know, it, it's a game you – you go win, and you keep winning. You get to keep playing. I think I think we've all we've all accepted that at this point. Uh, I'm actually Austin, Austin. Austin. Seems fine. I, I think he's fine right now. Where's Trent? Trent is Um, I think Trent is going on the trip, which is more than he has been doing, and he's been throwing bullpen, so should be able to get an inning. Maybe two. No. <coughs> Anything else? Coach, how has Maxi kind of responded since he's get back from that incident? Probably, probably the, you know, there was a, there were some positives in the game on Friday. There were some guys that swung the back good off the bench. Uh, and Maxi came in the game and got in the game and kind of got to knock the top legs off and swung the bat fine. Uh, and so you'd like to think he's going to be fine. And again, like I said, as a positive to that day. Coach, injuries are just bound to happen uh, throughout any season, but just how, how extensive and uh, these key players left and right, I guess, has it, has it been frustrating, I guess, at, at times just to know that you had a complete lineup at one point? No, I don't think frustrating. I think it's a challenge. I, I think that's the way you have to look at it. I think if you get frustrated, you know, it's, that's a tough way to go. I think it's a challenge to put a lineup together, to win games every day. And obviously, the more guys you do have go down, the smaller your margin for error is there, whether it's pitching or whether it's hitting. And uh, but I don't think in the middle of it you ever look at it that way. I think you look at it as a challenge, and you also look at it as an opportunity for guys to play. I mean, there's always guys within a 40-man roster that are sitting over there and they want to play. And they want to prove, hey, they can go be a guy every day. And you're always excited for those guys. I mean, I was excited about playing the game Sunday because we had some guys in the lineup in some places that they hadn't been. And it's almost like, you know, getting to go watch, you know, somebody, you know, you love go play a game. And you go, okay, hey, man, like, get to watch you try to perform. And, uh, and so, to me, that's, uh, I think it's more of a challenge than frustration. So, you just saw that experimentation in terms of. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think the double, the, the double header day demands you do it because of 18 innings. And then I think, uh, obviously, you know, you're, you know, to me, like you're, you just, if it's a win or go home deal, you got to play every matchup the way the game says to play it. Uh, you know, that's that's really what you're trying to do. 
in a regular season game, sometimes you're you, you might give a guy an extra at bat. You might give him the whole game. They may like you get get your five at bats right here to see what you can do with it. Where if it's win or go home, and you know, you, and somebody's not on their game, you might have to go to somebody else. 